you guys, Eric here again. I want to thank you for tuning in and be sure to subscribe for more videos and content just like this. So today we're going to talk about landing pages. So the purpose of a landing page is really just to get somebody to do something as opposed to just a regular website, right? We want them to focus on doing something and the name is really appropriate because in a sense, they came there from somewhere else. So it could have been a Facebook ad, it could have been a YouTube ad, and they landed there. So today we're just going to focus on a landing page that's going to ask you for your info in return for an ebook. So again, there's many types of different approaches to this. This is just one approach. And so the first thing we're going to do is go to templates. And from templates, we're going to go to add new. And then what we're going to decide on is the type of template. So let's go ahead and click on page and from page let's go ahead and give it a name and we're just going to say ebook giveaway and then we're going to create the template so now we've got it there it says ebook giveaway and i want you to notice here if you go to settings let me just move this over a little bit if you go to settings we want to start from a, a blank canvas so you've got the page layout on default right now we're just going to go ahead and put element or canvas and everything should disappear there we go so now we've got a clean slate so right from there is where we can start to decide how we want to actually build this landing page don't forget too that if you click this little hamburger part here you can decide in default colors your primary secondary text and accent these are all things that will revolve around the page that you're building at the same token maybe there's certain fault fonts that you want to focus on maybe instead of this one here maybe you'd rather have a different font altogether and so in that case there if you do that you can keep it the same and then you can control the weight of it there there's the body text so again just depends what you want to do let's just go ahead and we're going to go back all right so now we're going to go ahead and add a section this is a new section and when we click on it right now what we want to do is just focus on uh, putting a background color here. So in this case here, we'll go to style. We'll go to background type I'm going to keep it simple. Let's just do like a blue and Then we're going to go ahead and add the heading because now that's what we want to add to it You can see the default there is in like a lighter blue I'm going to paste what I wrote earlier go to style to change the color of it in this case. We'll do it white And you can see how it's kind of all cramped in together there, right? But we can go ahead and we can center that. It's kind of hard to see here, but now you can see it's centered. Now what's nice is on the style part of this here, you can manipulate different things. So maybe you want to change the typography. Maybe you want to just change the size altogether. Now watch this. And you can control all that. You can control the weight of it. You know, where do you want it to set as far as like it looks and again, this is the, the look part of it there. Transform, maybe you want it to all be uppercase. You know, maybe you just want the default, what we just did there. Uh, so, and, and so you've got all these different options here, which is nice because as you're doing this, even if you don't know lick about coding or anything, you don't need to. So line height, watch this, we can take it and we can manipulate how much height do we really want. In this case here is because it is um, a heading I don't want that much, but letter spacing. Let me show you how this works. And it's exactly what it means, the space between the letters. So now we're getting it closer to where we want it here. I want to quickly mention here what you'll notice too about this section is it looks pretty big, right? You've got the heading there, but it looks pretty big. So head to this section, edit section part here. And what you want to do is just go to advance and click on and make sure that these are unclicked actually and so far we've got a pretty good you know looking headline it's simple but don't forget too that there, there are so many different things you can do with elementor pro for instance motion effects so maybe as somebody is on there maybe we want it to fade in right did you see what just happened there just fade it in and that was that was a nice little effect there let's go back to edit with elementor and let's just show you one more effect here that you can manipulate this with. Head to section, head to advance, motion effects, and let's try, let's try bounce right. There we go. So there's another effect there. So let's just save that. Let's go ahead and view that page. 
So there's a lot of really cool effects that you can do. So that's just an example. So again, there's your heading. All right, so now we're gonna create a new section. We wanna create some space in between. This makes things flow a lot better. Let's go ahead and take the spacer widget and put that in there. Let's go ahead and put this on 20. Now go ahead, click that structure again. This time we're gonna do two. And the two here, we're going to do text here, and we'll probably do just an image there. So again, that gives it a little bit more clarity of what we're what we're coming across with here. So let's go ahead and put a heading here. Let's change the style. We're going to say black. Actually, let's change well. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to head to add a text editor. Let's put that in the bottom. And this is where maybe you want to make a list of some sort. Let's change the title here to a h3 tag. It looks, and again, set it up as you want. But here, this is where we're actually going to put the image. So let's put the image there, and we're going to grab it real quickly here. And don't forget, you can control the size. Right now, it's on large. Let's see what medium looks like. You can see according to size there. So. Let's, uh, I'm going to quickly pause it and put something in here real quick. All right, so I got a chance to actually put some more text in here. But what I want you to notice is, see how this is all kind of even cramped up in here. And actually, even looking at this, this is the H3. We're going to go ahead and head into typography. And we, my main concern is the letter spacing. And you can see here the, the difference, watch. It's a lot more clear it's a lot more concise and the same goes for this one here let's head over to typography let's go to letter spacing it opens it up just a little bit more so now we might want and i just adjusted this here but we might want to change the size of the book now so if i go over here and i click there let's go ahead and image size let's see large Add a little space there, and that might be okay. And don't forget, too, that you can adjust this here, right? You can make it look a little bit more different. Let's go ahead and, well, before we update, let's do this. Let's give a little bit of pizzazz here to the book and go to Advanced, and let's make the book come in with a motion effect. Let's do a bounce in. I like that one. Update, and let's take a look at it. All right, so you can't see the full page here, but in this case here, I could bring this up maybe a little bit more. There we go. All right, so I just went to the section part and I just brought it up some. Let's update it. It should look better. There we go. The only thing I would do a little bit differently is maybe take the book and move it just a little bit more to the right. All right, so in this next part here, we're going to add another section. And in this section here, we're going to do as a two-column section. The one is going to be text. So we're going to put the text editor here. The other one here is going to be the form. So let's take the form, form widget, and put it in there. Our only concern is really the email opt-in. So we can actually get rid of the name. We can get rid of the message part and keep the email part. And instead of send, we can alter what's written there and just put download now. Let's change this to black. So now we've got the little message there. We've got the email opt-in. I meant to change the background color here. Let's do that. Let's give it kind of a bright standout-ish color. Let's go back to section. So now this part right here, when they get ready to opt in, it needs to go somewhere. So what we're going to do is take that off there. So the actions after submit, this is the next part that you're going to go to. And you need to integrate this with whatever you're using. So for instance, MailChimp. So you will need a API key to connect that. So we'll put custom and this will give you the opportunity to put that API key in there. All right, so now we've connected the MailChimp API key 
it was set at custom there's the custom API key and then you're gonna to have to select here which in this case here the site's called side hustle affiliate all right so now it's set up with MailChimp and it should work as soon as somebody puts their email in let's go ahead and adjust that there and you can see it looks real clean that's basically what you have now and you can pretty much go ahead and use this as your landing page. You can add to it still. This is what I've got so far. We can take it a step further. All right, so this last little section here, what we're going to do is go ahead and click on the plus there. We'll add this section. Let's go ahead and add a spacer. And let's go ahead and give it 20. Let's go ahead and add another section. In this section here, we're going to go ahead and put the heading. And if you really want to create interest with the person who's looking at your landing page, a fact page is great to do with that. So let's add this fact here, and we're going to turn it black. It, it creates more interest. It may even get them to buy, actually. So text color black. Uh, what we're going to do is center that. And then right below that, we're going to add a divider, just in the bottom part. Right below the divider, let's go ahead and add another widget here. We're going to use the intersection. So with the heading here, we can go ahead and add that right there. And we can write something else about the book, maybe something that somebody doesn't know. Like, can they really benefit? Let's change the size. When can I? And again, you can probably think of a better way to approach this here. This is just an example of um, my approach to giving this sort of a, a reason for people to buy, right? So you've got the facts section here and then a little bit more about it here. We can go ahead and we can center this. So right below this here now, you can go ahead and you can add text editor. And you can put whatever you want here. Let's go ahead and darken this up here, style. And the cool thing about Elementor is you can take something, you can copy it, and you can go ahead and you can paste style and it changes it right away. Now if you wanted to, you can go ahead and we can duplicate this and we can go ahead and write another question here, another question there. So this is the beauty of working with Elementor. There's just a lot of options involved. Let's go ahead and save that there. And we're gonna take a look at it. All right, so let's go ahead and add a spacer here. Let's go ahead and add one more section. And let's color that section in. Background, let's just say green. Let's go ahead and add the social media icons here. So once the social media icons are there, we can go ahead and do something a little more interesting with it. So what we're going to do is instead of having the normal typical colors, we're going to go into style and go to custom. And this is where we can actually change up the color to whatever we want. So let's say I want everything sort of in a red, red color. We can do that. So now you've got the red color. Maybe you want to mess around a little bit with spacing. Let's bring it back in actually. And let's go ahead and we can do something with the icon hover so we can have it change another color maybe it's blue so every time we go over it blue you could even add animation so maybe we want this to bounce in you can see there it does something so let's go ahead and save that now
And there you have it.